So context is a useful function if you need to dynamically um, assess uh, different states in your app based off of maybe the user's device type, um, whether something's happened on the server side or on the client side, uh, or based off the different views or view types that someone may be looking at in any given time. So the syntax here shown here, um, and I'll make sure I have links below, uh, that it, it's simply context and inside you have an option here to select. You know, one could be app name, device, host, table, view, or view type. So app name is fairly straightforward. View is straightforward or view type is straightforward. And by view type, it could be a form type view or deck view or table view, et cetera. Uh, so you could use that to blankly, you know, a blanket account for any view types that may be similar in, in type by using that, that function. Uh, table itself is the name of the table that a view is connected to that the user may be looking at at any given time. But we'll focus here on device and host at any given moment here. So device itself can be uh, basically returns a unique identifier of the, uh, the device that's being used. So you can use this in unauthenticated apps to capture a fingerprint to understand what users may be the same user or, or not the same user itself. Host is the ability to pull in whether a user is using the browser, a mobile device, so that's you know, basically anything that would be on a tablet or a um, phone, and then server side. So this would be any operations that occur on the server. And you'd want to use server in some situations if you have an automation that's running uh, that would, you know, where you have validation rules that may conflict on the on the front end. But if you could bypass those by specifying a, a you know, if the host is a server itself. And that, that could help you ignore validation rules if you have automations that are being processed. So I think that covers uh, most of that. Just know that you have um, this context option as available. And this gives you a lot more flexibility in, in rules you can create within your app, along with different um, role-based accesses that you design as well. This could really enhance the experience and keep things ultimately simpler for every user that's interacting with the app, but lets you dynamically change your app in a lot of different ways with this formula.